Before we begin, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, ZenThreadShop.com. This amazing website not only has great apparel, bath products, jewelry, and more, but they also donate a portion of their net proceeds to Beyond Giving, a 501c3 organization that currently provides funding to create and staff a nonprofit training center at which the underserved will acquire the entrepreneurial skills uh, they need to become self-sufficient. By entering the code ZTSROOM6 at checkout, you'll not only be helping the community, but saving 20% off your order too. It's a win-win all around. Thanks Zen Thread Shop for being a sponsor and thank you for watching. Now on to the show. Welcome to Room 6, the channel dedicated to the local Las Vegas music scene and the people that make it, including me. I'm Josh, and today marks the fourth video in my Now What series, covering questions that every beginning musician needs to answer. If you haven't checked out the first three videos, make sure you do after you uh, finish this video. Today's video, as the title indicates, is all about that magic moment when your band can finally afford some gear. You've been playing some shows and saving up some money and perhaps doing shows with other bands has shown you the inadequacies of your current gear. Well, rest assured, dear viewers, we're going shopping. If you're enjoying the content Room 6 is putting up, please make sure you subscribe down there and hit the bell so you don't miss an episode. While you're at it, feel free to like and share, and uh, yeah, let's go. Now I'm not going to try to cover every piece of gear you can possibly upgrade, because that'd take forever. What I will do, however, is talk about some important things to take into consideration when upgrading certain usual gear a band needs. Without a good PA system, your band's sound will never be balanced. However you're currently amplifying your band, even just at rehearsals, being able to run every possible instrument through one set of speakers allows everyone to hear everyone. You should have enough inputs for everyone with their own controls, plus outputs for both speakers and monitors. An EQ is important for balancing sound to the room, and some systems will have presets for types of rooms as well. Speaking of monitors, they play a critical role in hearing yourself over everyone else, especially for drummers. If you can swing it, in-ear monitors can be awesome. That being said, they're not usually necessary for your local bar. What is necessary is earplugs designed to filter out the highs and lows of a show. These range in price, but are very affordable compared to a hearing aid when you're older. Besides a PA system and monitors, you might consider investing in cases for your gear. Even if you never go on tour, accidents happen during load-ins and load-outs, especially at a bar. Plus, it's a great opportunity to look more professional and have your branding visible throughout the whole night. Believe it or not, many bands never think about investing in their stage show. Some simple and portable stage lights can really improve your stage presence and have the added bonus of making everyone on the bill look good. Never underestimate the power of goodwill among the music community. Furthermore, people will remember your show better if the visual element is as impressive as your music. Finally, if the money's there, think about going wireless, especially for bigger stages where tripping over cables is a real possibility. There are some reasonably priced gigs online that can make the setup and teardown a little quicker by not having to coil so many darn cables. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and it was useful information. The next video in this series will be dealing with an important step in promoting your band. Your first interview. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you do and click the bell to be notified when new videos get posted. In the meantime, if you'd like to see more videos like this, click here. Remember to be amazing. Please consider clicking one of the links down in the description to support the channel. And we'll see you next time in Room 6.